it's really important for, for leaders, um, for companies, to spend the appropriate amount of time in the question and look for the unobvious answers. I think oftentimes there's such an energy to move into action, but if you don't actually know where you're headed, you're not necessarily gonna head in the right direction. And I think whether it's Frappuccino, Seattle's Best, um, even the work I'm doing today on the Starbucks operation in Europe, you have to make sure you're peeling back to look at those, I'll call it hidden truths, or find the gems from which you can find innovation and creative possibilities. The opportunity for Seattle's Best is literally to bring our great coffee everywhere. I mean, there are thousands of places where today people have to settle to get you know, a decent cup of coffee, and we all can relate to that. And so the opportunity is both through the business strategy as well as the brand strategy to make Seattle's Best far more approachable than any other premium coffee on the market today. So that includes distribution points. Um, in fact, just in two years, we grew a distribution from 3,000 to 50,000 points. Um, and also a branding strategy that brings the approachability to the brand, uh, making it optimistic, simplifying the coffee, and inviting many consumers into the brand. The challenge for Seattle's Best as part of the Starbucks portfolio is to bring new customers into the Starbucks family, and we are very much part of the Starbucks Corporation family. You know, in the U.S. alone, close to 100 billion cups are consumed every year. And Starbucks occupies its own great space. Um, it's warm, it's premium, it's about that emotional connection it creates with consumers every single day. For Seattle's Best, um, we want to also have that great connection with consumers, but do it in a slightly different way. And like I said, bring the, the fun, the optimism, um, in an entirely different, unique way, not only to Starbucks, but frankly to any other coffee brand that's out there. Again, we're in the business of surprising, delighting consumers consumers leading and so you have to find those ideas that do that, that are distinctive and oftentimes that means they're new. Oftentimes it means they haven't been done before and with that comes a level of risk and leaders have to be willing to take a stand and believe.